right, so um, the 21-year-old age limit forces law-abiding young citizens to begin their encounter with alcohol, usually after two years after they graduate from high school and live off on their own. But we don't do that with driving, so why does it make sense to do it with alcohol? And this shows that lowering the age would actually benefit underage teens. And so I would like to reiterate what my partner has said earlier about lowering the drinking age to 18, and that our significance claim is that the drinking age being 21 causes us to live our lives in harmful situations because, one, the amount of alcohol poisoning has increased, two, young adults engage in binge drinking more frequently due to our current law, and lastly, underage drinkers are not seeking medical attention when they are needed due to their fear of being charged with underage drinking. And my opponent <clears throat> argued that binge drinking doesn't really fix the majority of the problems who are under the age of 18. But um, although it doesn't fix the majority of the problems, it would actually help them get the help that they need. Like if they are in a situation where they are um, really drunk and they can they can um, ask for help without having to worry about being charged. And so according to Jeffrey A. Tucker um, with the Foundation for Economic Education, he says that most of the kids have never been socialized in what it means to drink responsibly. They are living for the thrill that comes with the defiance. The combination of new freedom, liquor, and liquor leads to potentially dangerous lives. Um, which also like includes like group gang rubies and stuff. And he's basically saying that if we do lower the drinking age, it would help um, those who are underage get help that they need. Um, my opponent also said that reducing will only help the college students, but that's not true because it's not just college students who are binge drinking and all of that, it's also um, people who are in high school. And again, what I said about thrill seeking, um, a lot of teens are into all that. Like they like to rebel against the law. They like to get that thrill. So according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, they stated that some teens thrill seeking might include experimenting with alcohol, which then leads to drinking excessive amounts of drinking since they do, do it for the thrill. So if we do lower the drinking age, we can prevent all this thrill seeking and they can um, drink in more safer environments. Um, <clears throat> so going off with our first secondary claim, the amount of alcohol poisoning has increased. Um, according to Dr. David J. Hansen, a sociologist at the State University of New York at Potsdam, he said that when you prohibit drinking legally, it pushes it into places that are uncontrolled, like fraternity houses. These are places that promote drinking, games, and excessive rapid consumption of alcohol, which puts people in danger of getting alcohol poisoning, and that can be fatal. So underage teens do not usually know their limits since they are being exposed to alcohol illegally, so they will keep on drinking excessively, and they will not know their limits. And if we were to lower the drinking age, we, would, we could then teach teens to drink safely, and if anyone were to get alcohol poisoning, then people would know what to do. And for our second secondary claim, young adults engage in binge drinking more frequently. Um, this happens more often because we tend to pregame, which is um, where we drink before an event, just so we don't have to drink there because we're not um, legally like allowed to. So according to Centers for Disease Control and Protection, um, the centers, the CDC recently reported differences in binge drinking behavior among people in various age groups. Um, using data collected in 2010, they discovered that about 28% of 18 to 21 year olds binge drink the most out of the other age groups. And uh, lastly, underage drinkers are not seeking their, the medical attention that they need due to the fear of being charged. In early August of 2012, there was an incident where a teen named Brett Finloom died from alcohol poisoning at a friend's house. And he was a freshman who attended the University of Oklahoma. His friends, who were also underage at that time, called 911, but it was already too late. And when the paramedics and the ambulance came, they didn't disclose as much information about what happened. Um, they even denied drinking alcohol at home and told the 911 operator that um, the teen who died actually was intoxicated before he arrived. 
And they did this because um, they downplayed the danger so that they wouldn't risk a criminal record, including charges like arrest for public intoxication, illegal consumption, and possession of transportation of alcohol, which this is where you're putting yourself before someone else's life because you're, you don't want to get charged. And for our inheritance claim, the drinking age being raised did stop under age. The drinking age being raised does not stop underage drinking because after the drinking law has been passed, it also led to underground drinking, what my partner has already said before. And according to Gabrielle Glasser with the New York Times, she said that raising the drinking age hasn't reduced drinking. It merely driven it underground to the riskiest of settings. Unsupervised high school blowouts and fraternity parties that make the animal house look quaint. And so this age segregation leads to drinking away from adults who could model moderation. And lastly, the solvency claim about lowering the drinking age allows people to have access to a safer drinking environment. And this prevents many dangerous incidents that underage drinkers do undergo because according to Urban Z, the, who is a part of the benefit of, um, he said that when it is illegal for them to drink at 18, many of them will have a great chance to violate the law and do drinking sprees, which can then be unsafe for them and people around them. 